Alright guys, I'm back in this, um, before I start this video, I just want to say, I know I've been, I haven't done a video this week, I know this raw review's gone up a bit late, and I know my other raw review didn't get uploaded, uh, because I know I'm late uploading all my videos lately, and I know, it's, it's basically because of school, I have this, get, I, I've been, I, it's kind of, basically, we went, like, we went, uh, we went on this trip, <laughs> sorry, we went on, like, on, on this uh, school trip, the, well, a couple of days ago, like on Tuesday, so I couldn't upload my review on Tuesday, um, which was like a, which we stayed overnight and stuff on in this trip. But anyway, and then we didn't get back to like early this morning, back to school, so it's kind of technically why I haven't been doing videos this week. But yeah, never mind about that. Oh, so we start off raw this week with Triple H is definitely coming out. He says that tonight's gonna, uh, tonight's main event is gonna be a, a eleven on three handicap match. Between um, the Shield versus all the wrestlers, so D. Bryan on on um, Raw last week. Then Miz comes out. He said that he wants to face Van York tonight. But but um, Miz, what Miz? Why does it Miz? Um, Triple H says that he's gonna he's gonna. Is it, Triple H says he wants Miz to host Miz TV, and he says he guess it's gonna be the big show. So we get the first match tonight is the White Fan versus PTP, and this was a, a good match. Uh, actually, I thought this was a good match. Uh, the White Fan hit the sister. Um, uh, was it Eric or uh, Eric? Uh, Eric hits the um, the uh, discus clothesline for the win. So I thought this was a good match. Hold on. Yes, I am wearing my AJ Styles t-shirt by the way, and just um, checking the Raw match card now. And then we got the second match tonight, it was Kofi vs Del Rio, I thought this was a good match here. Um, well, well this was the first match tonight, sorry. So we got Kofi vs. Dario. Um, Dario hits a um, certificate for the win. It was a good match. Then we get the white. Then second match is the White Family vs. PTP. Like I said, the White Family got the win on that one. Um, Bray Wyatt hits a disc score then for the win. Then we got Miss TV with the Big Show. Well, before I start this, where are they going with this whole um, White Family now? Because it's like kind of like Bray Wyatt doesn't have a feud now. I mean, if you were the few that we came at SummerSlam uh, two months, well, a month ago, and now again the end of September now, why, why is Bray Wyatt not got a feud? Like the great on the, Bray Wyatt is great on the mic. Uh, Bray Wyatt is brilliant on the mic, but why are WWE not capitalizing on that? They're not putting him in a feud. We know he's great on the mic, but why is he not going to feud? I mean, I've heard rumors that they want to maybe face him with an Undertaker at uh, SummerSlam. Uh, not SummerSlam, Survivor Series, sorry. But, I mean, I'll let's see an Undertaker Bray Wyatt feud, and uh, maybe it'll do wonders for Bray Wyatt's uh, career if, you know, Undertaker put him over. But anyway, I. It's just basically, I think Bray Wyatt needs a feud. I mean, if it's just like a, a little feud with guys like, if he's feuding with like the Miz, that's okay, I guess, because Miz can just put him over. Miz ain't relevant anyway, so who cares about that? But I mean, if he just maybe squashes guys and pay like Kofi and Truth or Miz or uh, who else is there? Evan Bourne. So there you go. But anyway, I thought it was an okay match because of the PTP's pushes over anyway. Then we got a mixed, uh, and then we got the Miz TV segment with Big Show. Miz asks him about why is he, um, about uh, him knocking out people. About you know, he asks him about why is he knocking out people. He says that he's got to do it for his family. Then Stephanie comes out. She says that Miz is uh, is useless in WWE. Uh, all the all all they're using for is just to promote um, Raw and SmackDown and promote movies and stuff like that. And just do interviews. He said uh, Stephanie said that she's not. Uh, he's not. Uh, um, he, he said he's. Uh, Miz, Stephanie says that Miz is not. Uh, is not a good wrestler. That then Stephanie tells the Big Show to knock knock Miz out. He knocks Miz out. 
And I don't know why they're doing this so early because didn't TNA and didn't TNA do this a couple of like a week ago when Dixie Car when AJ Styles was shooting on Dixie Carter? Why a WWE a couple of days later after that episode? Copying the same thing with Ms. and Stephanie. It didn't. It wasn't like the same as AJ and Dixie, which that was a good promo actually, say by AJ. But anyway, why? I don't get why WWE have to get copy stories from TNA and TNA have to get copy new stories uh, from WWE and WCW. Really? Like, come up with your own stuff, guys. You're a freaking wrestling company. Come up with your uh, stuff and come up with different things. I know. Maybe Ring of Honor with coffee storylines, but not freaking WWE. Well, not WWE. Come on, like come up with something different than just that, you know. But anyway, the the third match out was RVD versus Orton. Orton and RVD counting out, so it means uh, and after the match, RVD um, gets attacked by Orton. Then. Uh, uh, the medical or the doctors is trying to carry RVD out, but then Dario attacks him. So it cannot. So it's a, a battleground. It's going to be Del Rio versus RVD. And I did hear that RVD is not going to resign his contract with WWE. So I don't know if he's going to if they're going to do a third match RVD versus Del Rio, but I don't know. Then we got the fourth match tonight was Fandango versus Santino. Fandango wins with a bike drop. No, um, I didn't care about this match. Seventh match tonight, the seventh, ma oh, the seventh, uh, oh yeah, and then we get segment punks. Oh, um, see, uh, punk. Oh yeah, then we see Punk. He's brawling with the he, him and um. That's again. Yeah. Then we see a, an eight divas tag. Then we see a ten divas tag match. It's the heel group of Alicia Fox. Uh, who else is there? Alicia Fox, Oksana, Layla, AJ versus the Bella versus Total Divas. Uh, the, one of the Bellas get the win with a uh, face buster. It is an okay match. It's your typical divas match. Then we get um, the CM Punk, Paul Heyman, um, Punk and Heyman. Um, they brawl for a bit. Well, Punk, well, Punk, um, uh, Punk and Ryback and Heyman. Uh, no, Punk uh, says that um, he got beat by Heyman, but he says that Battle, uh, Battleground is going to uh, beat Ryback and get his hands on Heyman. Then Heyman says that he beat Punk and he says he's gonna, he's gonna leave Chicago. So he tr he tries to um, start these. He tries to um, ride a sco the scooter up the ramp, but the battery's gone. It, it, the battery died, and um, <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, Heyman's trying to start uh, the, um, the scooter, and then. Um, Punk's trying to um, Punk uh, tries to attack Heyman, but Ryback and uh, Axel that they uh, they brawl. Um, uh, uh, Ryback and Axel they start attacking CM Punk, and then Punk ends up brawling with Axel and Ryback. And I thought that was a good. I mean, I'm glad that they're building up this Ryback CM Punk feud. And I would really like to see Ryback get a win because I think Ryback really needs a win. Because he's the newest member of this Paul Heyman, you know, uh, he's, in, he's the newest Paul Heyman guy, and I think he need, really needs to win uh, in this feud. I think I'm going to say Ryback's going to win, you know, at Battleground. So I think Ryback needs to get the win here. I think he needs to keep. I think he needs to build Ryback. Uh, I think he needs to build up Ryback as a big monster again, like a monster heel. Well, try to. I mean, you've got Paul Heyman as his, as his manager, so you know, that's something good there. And then we get the the um, what's this seventh match of the night? Eleven on three handicap matches. So it's the uh, it's the so it's the Shield versus Justin Gale versus R. <coughs> what's my voice here? So it's Justin Gale versus R. Truth, but it's, uh, it's Justin. So it's the Shield versus Justin Gabriel, R. Truth, Do Dolph, Zack Ryder, PTP, RVD, The Usos, and D. Bryan. So the so the shield eliminate the jobbers. Then we get down to the final three, which is uh well the final five four guys or five guys whatever it was. So we get the fi the final guys are in this match are the Usos, Dolph and D. Bryan. So the Usos eliminate Rome, uh, Reigns, 
then Dolph eliminates uh, Ambrose, then uh, D. Bryan eliminates Rollins. So that's how we ended well with the team D. Bryan defeating uh, the Shield. And I'm really thinking that this is going to be your team for Survivor Series, where we're going to have Dolph, Usos, the Dolph and Usos, Dolph and Usos, and probably RB, maybe RVD, and um, maybe Kofi. That's probably going to be your Survivor Series tag match for Team D. Bryan, and your probably Team Corporation or your Team Shield is going to be Shield and probably Triple H or um, who else is there? Maybe Vince. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's probably your Survivor Series uh, tag match there. But yeah, I thought Raw was pretty good this week. The handicap match was good. RVD Orton was a good. I thought that was a real good match. The uh, Divas match was okay, yes. Santino vs. Ben Nangle was okay. CM Punk and Paul Heyman promo was great. Uh, the Miss TV segment was okay, yes. The White Family vs. PCP, that was an okay match. And yeah, I thought this show was an overall, I thought Raw was a good show this week. What do you guys think about the show? Leave a comment in the comment section below, guys, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye, out.